Well, hey, McFly subscribers. I'm actually down in Corpus Christi, Texas. Excuse me. I had a burger and I haven't had one in a long time, but what is there in between here in San Antonio? McDonald's. Anyway, ugh, indigestion, guys. Anyway, I am at a place called Roy's Bait and Tackle. It's a awesome little shop. Uh, little, I say. It's huge. It's a really big shop. Uh, I used to live down here a long time ago. When I would come here, it was a lot smaller. And they've expanded uh, in the last, you know, five to ten years or so. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here. But it's definitely larger even than the last time I was here. And it was pretty big then. So they have fly fishing. They have, uh, you know, conventional fishing. Just basically everything having to do with fishing here in Corpus. And so I figure they're the people to talk to. Now, tonight I'm gonna to be staying at a buddy of mine's house. Uh, you guys have seen him before if you've been watching the channel for a long time. His name's Johnny, and he is one of my longest time friends. Like, I, I've been friends with him forever. I'm gonna go and crash out at his house, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna go and fish. Uh, I actually fished with them last time I was here, and we didn't do so hot, but I'm hoping that we uh, do a little better this time. Last time was right after the hurricane, and things had changed a lot. So uh, he's been doing really good for fishing lately, so he knows where to go and what to do. And so we're hoping that we're going to catch tomorrow. Tomorrow's really the fishing day. Today, he's not out of work until about 10 at night tonight. And so I'm not going to I'm not gonna be able to fish until... Or I'm going to fish by myself. I'm not going to be able to hang out with him until then. And then we leave uh, like 5, 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and go do some fishing. Then I drive back home. So that's the plan. I'm going to run into Roy's. And I'll, I'll see if they let me film in there. And I'm sure they would. And I'll let you see the inside of it. Pretty amazing. It's a huge shop. And they've got just about everything possible. So... So they suggested go fishing on the jetty and uh, got this railing here that, you know, not sure about with fly rod. Now the, the railing ends that way, but they said they wanted me to go up further towards the opening of the, the jetty up there, but who knows? I'll try down here a little bit and up there, up and around. So it's a little windy. Uh, but at least it's on my back so I can maybe get a good cast. I'm fishing with the um, Gideon reel, my eight weight, and the Genesis rod. So we'll see how these perform out here in the salt. It's pretty busy here, so it's gonna be tough trying to find a spot. I mean, it's not crazy right now, but. So I was first fishing a redfish crack type fly, but switched to this little streamer that is bright colored because the water was a little murky. I figured the fish could see it easier. The name of the game here is make long up current casts and let it simply drift down, almost like dead drifting. Then make strips in after it sinks sufficiently enough. However, if you let it sink too much, you'll get caught on the rocks below, so it's quite tedious. Another thing was that it's very windy, and the wind would sometimes put wind knots in your line if you didn't cast perfectly, which happened to me a fair amount.
I fished here for quite a while until it was almost dark without a single bite and decided to run and grab a bite to eat since it was way past dinner. Also I was quite exhausted from casting the 8 weight non-stop for hours. After I ate though, I came down to a place I used to fish at night and do quite well. Now there was a couple ladies fishing there as well, but they said I could make a couple casts into the light, where I used to try to cast towards. Sure enough, almost instantly I hooked into a fish. And I was using a small redfish crack, by the way. Now I know guys, it's really dark, so you can't see anything. But right here I got smart and turned on my flashlight. Unfortunately you missed the whole fight, but you can see it's a decent sized speckled trout. They're not actually trout though, but look quite like them, so they're called that. Nice fish, but I threw it back because I wasn't into cleaning just one fish for the night. Also my buddy was almost off work and I headed back to his house. Well hey guys, it's the morning, it's a little later than we had thought. Uh, we kind of got a late start here, but we are heading out to a spot to go do some wading. Uh, we're not going to be on the kayak or anything, we're not going to um, be on a boat, we're just going to wade and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, there's a spot up here that hopefully we can get in some sea trout. There are some flounder in that area, uh, at least what we're told. And um, maybe some reds possibly, we'll see how that goes. The wind is, has died down quite a bit, so that could uh, affect the reds. But anyway, I'm with my buddy Johnny. We're out, uh, we're going out, he's driving, and uh, hopefully we catch. So let's get out there and catch some fish. All right, well, we are Ready. Well, I'm ready. Johnny over here is taking his sweet time, but <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're ready to go. I'm all set up. I'm going to try, by the way, guys, I'm fishing with my Risen uh, Genesis 8 weight, uh, just like yesterday, and the Gideon reel, and it performed great. Um, no issues at all. It is very salty here. Um, just make sure and hose it down. Um, it's not technically made for salt water, but it'll definitely handle these fish. Um, and I've got this. It's a little shrimp fly I came up with on the vise right before I came down. It's pretty cool. I'm going to see how it works. It's kind of a top water thing. It's very shallow here where we're at. A lot of, it's flats basically. Um, so it's got foam on the top here and it's, you know, it's not like a popper or anything, but it'd be like a shrimp scooting along the top. Hopefully it'll entice some bites, but pretty, pretty realistic looking. I like it. We'll see how it works. Otherwise, I got I got some uh, redfish cracks and stuff like that. As you can see, it's very cloudy, which is good. The fish tend to come out when it's more cloudy, so we had high expectations for the day. We started wading out, and I went right to a little sandbar with the drop off next to it. I did see some fish popping the top, which is what the specs do when chasing bait. Now, I had a couple blow ups on my topwater fly, but nothing took it fully. So I decided to switch to a sinking fly, which was the redfish crack again. However, I didn't get any takes. So we went walking right to the inlets, looking for some tailing reds. kept seeing bait fleeing, but never a fish chasing them.
After a while of that, we went back out to the flats and just went walking looking for holes holding fish or something, but didn't find a dang thing. So this is another skunk trip going down to Corpus. When I lived here before, I would catch fish all day long. And my buddy Johnny always catches a lot of fish every time he comes out. I feel like the camera seems to give me bad luck or something. As the last time, I only caught a fish when the camera died and I couldn't film anymore. Well, hopefully next trip to Corpus will be a success. Well, either way, whether I caught or not, I always have a great time hanging out with one of my longest friends. It was good catching up and chatting about our kids and families and getting some exercise and sun. And don't forget to check out Risen Fly Rods. They really do make really good quality gear at amazing prices. I mean guys, this rod really performed and it only costs $100. Actually, even less with the discount McFly Angler that you can type in at checkout on their website. It'll give you an additional 15% off of anything in their shop. Their reels, their rods, even their fly tying hooks are really amazing and very affordable. So definitely go check them out. I'll put a link in the description section. Well, I'll see you on the next video. Now you guys go catch some fish.